my name is Keith Williams, and we are here at the spectacular Dwyer Cultural Center here in Harlem, 123rd Street and St. Nicholas Avenue. They have amazing events here, as you can see, as of right now, they are uh, preparing for an art exhibit. It's a number of art exhibit. There's actually two events going in here right now. I'm here representing a phenomenal company called Bing Han. It's coming out of Taiwan 21 years ago, six years in the United States, but all in the Chinese community. And what you're witnessing right now is us planting a ginseng root, so to speak, in our, in our home. So we have wonderful people from downtown and some people from Taiwan will be coming here in order to introduce people how to celebrate life and embrace health through an amazing product called Bing Han Penix Ginseng. Okay, so I'm back here again, and thank you very much for your attention. And I brought Miss Joanne Chang, the lovely Miss Joanne Chang, because she has extreme expertise in what makes this Bing Han ginseng so superior. So I guess you know what my question is to you. We understand about the importance of nutritive health and ginseng in general. What makes Bing Han ginseng more superior to most of the ginseng that's out there? Well, Bing Han ginseng is a premium penis six-year guaranteed ginseng, and only not only is it. Um, just any ginseng, our ginseng has a special technology and the technology is we use low heat temperature which is the heaven body is about 37 and uh, we use 28 degrees Celsius to process our six year premium penis ginseng and that's what makes our ginseng special because um, we have something we call it adaptogen which is um, is a function of ginseng that actually helps the, the body to do what the body is supposed to do, create an environment where it's supposed to do. For example, we say your body, we call it yin and yang nature, or we call it your body's cool nature. When you drink up Bing Han Jinsen, it actually warms you up. And if your body has a hot nature, our Bing Han Jinsen actually cool you down. That's why we call it an adaptogen. So, uh, what's, and also our, our Bing Han Jinsen is, um, is it's, uh, it does detoxification, it does rejuvenation, and also replenishing. That's what makes our special um, with our Bing Han, um, Bing Han is very special. And also we have a pharmaceutical plant in Taiwan, and a lot of people ask us, um, your product is a food supplement, and why do you need a pharmaceutical license and a pharmaceutical plant? Because our founder and our president, Dr. Li Hersheng, he highly con um, emphasized quality control. And I'm sure so we to make sure that we, the, product, the product is free of microbiology, free of pesticides, and free, free of heavy metal. So this is, uh, and the product is suitable for all um, body types, uh, ages. We have no side effects, no uh, stimulant, and, uh, and no, um, no caffeine. One question though, um, most ginseng that I always know about is this power. Of this. You can only take it in small amounts sparingly, and also you couldn't, uh, most people couldn't afford it. So what about Bing Han Jinsen? Uh, like I say, uh, ginseng is, you can keep, because of the low heat technology, it's suitable for all body types and all ages. From baby, infants, to pregnant women, to elderly. You can use it every day and there's no over dosage. Thank you very much. And it's much. now affordable. It's yes. now affordable to us. Yes, very much. Thank you. Great. Thank you. I do. 
Speaking in Chinese, yeah. her name is Regina Chow. Regina. She is a distributor manager of Bing Han. That the one she already passed the test of the of the song and dance. Ah. But she's going to tell you more. But this is like if you have chicken soup uh, in the bowl, or yeah. you have your own chicken yeah. soup story. She is yeah. going to tell her her own real life chicken soup story. Yeah. One time, two time, and three time in overcoming. And I want to just link it together. We are all humanity in New York. I tell my friends, if you come to United States, some like it, some not so like it, my friends. But I say New York is not USA. New York is in USA, but it's the world and USA. So they have actually more to like New York. So let me bring up Virginia about her story. I'm going to recreate it in, 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 in English. So see my talk slowly and then I would speak for her but you can look at her because your emotion and everything is with her. Yes. Okay, so this is Virginia Chow. She's what? Chinese. 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 Name Chinese, okay? No, give her the mic. Okay, give her the mic. But she's going to speak in Chinese, so actually in Chinese. Okay. Good. Actually, that's really all. Actually, Now, look at her, but I think I, I, I have to let you guys hear her. But you, the emotion with her, I'm recreating her. Okay? So, let's, let's try this out. Good. Good evening, all the honorable guests. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I'm so happy. This is my first in a new environment in New York City. And among all of you, that most of you, I don't think you speak Chinese. <laughs> and I will share with you myself. This is my honor. <coughs> in here, I thank Norman and the sponsor of myself in this Bing Han, beautiful Bing Han organization, Lisa Moy. She gave me a hard thing to translate. It's something about a Chinese literature, like if you look at Chinese as a depth of literature, it's like a, the Shakespeare piece of Chinese. So what she means is that I went through a lot, and when I look back, and then I am mixed in emotion, Sometimes proud and sometimes sad, and I tell it to you as it is. I was born in the Second World War time and the Chinese Civil War time. In under my father is an army officer under General Chiang Kai Shek, which is the nationalist. But then my grown up is in after 49, during 
the communist rule. Mm -hmm. So it's totally a bipolar in philosophy. Have ginseng. If you were caught as a commoner with ginseng, not only you, but your family would all have their heads chopped off. The Queen of Hearts. And so it's, and that, that shows you, it's, it's, it's such a critical, powerful product that today is available to you. But coming back to the core question, not every ginseng is powerful. Generally, cultivated ginseng is very difficult to make well. Because part of what makes ginseng so, a, such a powerful herb is that actually it's, um, ginseng is actually a shrub. And it grows in the shade of the, of the trees, it grows in cold weather. Uh, around Canada, that kind of la latitude. Um, but it grows and it takes all the nutrients out of the ground. It does something to the ground, we're not quite sure what. After you plant ginseng in a spot, if you try to plant ginseng again, that ginseng will not grow past three years. Chinese ginseng reaches its sexual maturity, it starts to have flowers at four years of age. If you try to plant ginseng in the same spot again after you cultivate ginseng in one spot, it won't reach three years. It's like a person that never reaches sexual maturity, it never doesn't get to its strength. And for something to be able to nourish your own sexual strength, your own vitality, that plant itself has to get to that strength. The brilliant genius Ali Hu Shu, who 22 years ago brought together 42 scientists and TCMs from around the world to create the most magnificent ginseng formula that's totally balanced and available for babies and pregnant women and and people around the world. It's, it's a ginseng that can heal every disease known to mankind. And this man, uh, Director Desmond Liu, is responsible for taking this from a small company up to a $400 million ginseng company and a, a total Beihan organization that grosses a revenues of in excess of a billion dollars. And he's, you know, he's one of my favorite people clearly on the planet. And uh, by the time we get finished, we'll know not only about uh, ginseng and Beihan, but we'll know all about the magic of love and healing. Director. The mayor. That's right. That's right. We're in Harlem. We and this is, this is a different kind of a place. We have the mayor. We have, we have the mayor. The mayor. Here to welcome the mayor. the mayor. Leslie White. Oh, the mayor of Harlem. The main man. Yes. The mayor. It would not, it would not be Harlem without the mayor. Yeah, Leslie. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Les. Thank you. Can you hear me out there? Yeah. yeah. Look at it. Let's give that hand. Let's give this brother's brand new round of applause. And uh, my name is Leslie White, and I serve as the Honorary Mayor of Harlem. And I tell you why I serve as the Honorary, Honorary Mayor of Harlem. Because it's events like this that bring us together. You know, bring us together because we, this is the international community. Yeah. Of is it not? Yes. yes. Right. And the fact that we are here listening to uh, uh, ginseng and, and all of the other uh, nutrients that help make us grow and be better. Woo! Now look here, Devin. I, I know that we've had a lot of uh, you know good things happen today, but one of the good things is to, is to have the opportunity to welcome you to all. You know. Thank you. Thank you. I, I normally uh, I would have something for you. But I tell you, since you're going to be here, uh, I, I, I assume more beyond today, that we uh, there is something that I have for you, a, a nice gift to welcome you to Harlem. But before, before I do that, I just want to thank uh, Miss McRae. Come on, give her up, give her a round of applause. Yeah. 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 Uh, Preston King, with Preston King? Come on, sit up here. Yeah. 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 And all the others are responsible for, for this event this evening. Let me tell you something. You know, it's nothing like doing it uptown. When you do it uptown, you just do it right, don't you not? And, and, and we're uptown here, and I just want to let you know that uh, uh, we love you. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> because you uh, represent the diversity of this community, the diversity of the power 
of strength in this community. The fact that we're here together and the fact that we're here to learn more about ginseng and the power of ginseng. I like that, the power of ginseng. Yeah, ginseng power. Yeah, ginseng power. And the fact that they, yeah, and behind ginseng. And um, I, before I conclude my remarks here, I'd just like to say uh, to my person, I can't see her in the audience, but uh, I learned a little something. Uh, Ni hao. Ni hao. How are you? Thank you. Yeah, yeah well, you know. He's right there. But I tell you, it's really a pleasure, and I just wanted to welcome you. And I hope we do this again because there are a lot of there's a lot a wider audience in Harlem that needs to hear about this product and about the people that come together around this product. I just want to take this opportunity to welcome you. Thank you, sir. To the international community of Harlem. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'd like to thank you, the mayor, and thank you very much. Thank you. And thanks all of you for having me here. But uh, such a great treasure here. And then for DJ Mario, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, actually, my first time here in, 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 in Harlem is wonderful. Like, uh, it's the best thing ever for me. Uh, I've been to New York for seven years, but uh, this is my first time here. It's amazing. We've been in New York seven years as well. Um, you know, like many of you probably heard from uh, uh, Dr. King, from Maxine, from uh, Mr. Marisha Brown, that uh, we're selling ginseng. Now, ginseng is with us for 5,000 years. It's just like in your culture too. There must be some kind of herb that we've used for many, many years. One of these things that we grow in, we grow with us in our culture. When a long time ago, ginseng is the only herb that's for only for the emperor of China. He's the only man around to have the ginseng. Because the reason why, because he has 3,000 concubine. So he's a very busy man. And you know, in a year, there's only 365 days, but he has 3,000 of them every year. And the, wow. the list goes on. So, and ginseng is supposed to be for male energy, so he needs it. And no one, uh, no one allowed to have ginseng. And ginseng is so expensive and it's so precious. And he's the only, he's the first guinea pig, by the way, to use ginseng. And nobody allowed. In the ancient time, if anyone caught to have ginseng, they would have their family, nine generations, around him to get the head, head chopped off. That's how precious it is. How about the concubines? Uh, yeah, well, they, they say it. They say it. They say it. Yeah. So that, that's, that's how important this ginseng is. Now today, everybody is allowed to have ginseng. And as a matter of fact, I don't know if you know these. The most expensive herb have been sold in the world is documented is Guinness World Report for 400,000 a root. 400,000. It happened in New York. It happened in New York. But this year, the record has break. The record has set in China for $1.57 million a root of ginseng. Yeah, one root of ginseng. So there's not too many products like ginseng that you can vary from like $10 to all the way to $1 million. So this, the product I talk about is wild ginseng. Being the biggest buyer of raw material of ginseng in the world, I would like to uh, reintroduce ginseng to you. Ginseng is amazing because ginseng is the most hungry uh, uh, herb that when you grow ginseng, it depletes the soil completely. So when you, uh, from the farm ginseng, when you grow, it took six years to grow. After six years, the land has to stay out of at least 10 to 15 years because it just emptied up. So the reason why ginseng is expensive is because it has all the nutrients that you need. So today, 80% of people get sick because they didn't have the right food. Even though you have the right food, you did not digest properly. So when I say did not digest properly, when you look at a baby, if they eat three times, they'll go poo three times. Right away, within an hour. If you have a pet, when you feed your dog, within an hour, you have to let it out because they have to do their thing. But can you ask yourself, if you eat three times a day, did you go to washroom three times? You see what I mean? So a lot of time you might think you think you eat properly, you eat the right diet, you eat the right fruit or the right vegetable or organically, but your body just did not do the right thing. It did not digest. So when you did not digest, you did not absorb. So 
you don't have the right nutrient to do the work for yourself. So with this powder that we have, if you cut yourself bleeding, you put it out, it stops bleeding right away. It's not just stop bleeding right away, it eats the pain, it heals very fast. Within days, your skin will be like nothing happened. Especially people who have scar, like you know, like uh, if, if people have uh, 20 years or 30 years or and maybe even a scar that you have like long time, that will be gone. It's crazy stuff. And when you take the big hand ginseng, your nail will grow again. This is unusual because it's, it's, when you became 40 years old, your nail just hardly grow. You know, but when you take the ginseng within weeks, your nail is coming. And your hair, when I say hair, especially women, when you take shower, you can see a ball here. But here, when you take the ginseng, it becomes stronger. I don't promise that you're going to grow your hair, but at least that it prevents you to drop. So at least you preserve what you have first. <laughs> and uh, when you go to back to Taiwan, or wherever, yes. that you would think about New York City, and but especially think about the community of Harlem, the international community of Harlem. The Thank fact you. that they have embraced you, and we can just embrace you more. We're we gonna love you. <laughs> Come on, let's give it up to you.